Several of you have asked me how we have our freeze dryer filter set up to automatically run. So I'm gonna take you into the storage room and I'm gonna show ya. All right, here we are in my storage room and here is our Harvest Right freeze dryer. It's, this model is several years old, as is our oil-based vacuum pump. So make sure you know what model you've got because if you're gonna do a do-it-yourself automatic oil filtration system, kind of like ours, you will wanna take any differences into account. So the basics of any of these, it has an oil in and an oil out and they come with various plugs. We've taken both of those out. Let's start with the out. So we took out the oil um, the exit plug, which is where you would drain the oil and replaced it with this uh, threaded, I believe it's copper tubing. And then we attached a valve because valves are always nice to have. So you can control what it's doing. It's currently open, uh, not currently running anything in the freeze dryer because it's already loud enough in here with just the furnace. So oil comes down through this clear plastic tubing, goes through the hole of our cart, and it comes, shoot, let me get under here so you can see, in the left side here of this filter. Now this is a diesel uh, water separator and apparently there are models with a clear bottom so you can see the water. That might be a better choice, but when we bought ours, this was the better choice for our price. And at the bottom, uh, you can drain out the water because what happens is the oil comes in here and it's got the water in it and stuff from the freeze dryer, it'll separate. Water goes on the bottom, oil goes on the top because of oil being less dense and it floats. So you can drain the water out the bottom and the oil comes out right here, the right side. So following the tubing, it goes, camera going here, here it goes, goes back there to a 12 volt pump. Now the pump comes after the filter for a very important reason. And when my husband was explaining this to me, I was like, oh, because if the pump came first, it would destroy the filter, right? And he's like, oh, actually no. So the reason, I'm doing a video buddy. Okay, just give me a minute. The reason that the pump comes after is so that it gives the oil and water a moment to settle so that then when the pump pulls, it just pulls the oil off and not the oil and the water that's been mixed and emulsified. So, and then we've got those little black and red wires comes up and let me take you up to see what that is. It comes up here to a 12 volt timer Ours has a 3D printed case to go around it to make it look prettier. But if you don't want to do the 3D print or even get, because um, what's in here beyond just the timer is also a converter because that way we can plug it into the wall. Um, but if you don't want to do necessarily all of that, you could just get a 12 volt pump like off of Amazon or somewhere with just, you know, with a converter built in so you can plug it directly into the wall. Or you could even possibly skip it depending on how you orient your whole build. Um, ours is under the cart, so we really do need um, the pump. In any case, moving back down below. Okay, so after going through the pump, and what's nice is the pump can pull the oil through the filter, even from behind it. So the, after going through the pump, whoop, the tubing comes back up here to the oil inlet. And again, this used to have a just a generic plug here. We pulled it out, replaced it with this threaded piping. It's a T-pipe so that we can have it go back in through here when it's all clean and ready to go but also so we could attach then this valve up here at the top. And that's cool because the valve's currently closed. If we ever need to add oil for whatever reason, sorry, this it's tough. There it goes. We can just add oil directly in or we can keep it closed to keep the oil clean and a nice closed system. 
now the pump will work and it will automatically filter itself, get all the water and crap out that we can drain out the bottom through this filtration. And then I know a lot of you have asked about this uh, milk jug. There is a little bit of oil at the bottom. Newer models are less horrible at spewing oil everywhere, but our model is pretty bad at it, as you can tell. So rather than get oil on these electronics here, we have come up with this recycling wonder idea of just paper towels and a used milk carton jug that I'm pretty sure is like three years old at this point, but it does help keep things a little neater and tidier. And that's how you can build your own do-it-yourself automatic filtration setup so that you don't ever have to change the oil again. And we've tested the oil, it stays clean, it stays good. And I mean, we've got more oil down here, should we need it, but we really haven't needed it in uh, quite some time. Oh yeah, this is our, our water bucket from draining after we defrost the freeze dryer. And kitty litter, great tip for keeping things clean. It really does wonders. So there you have it. And if you've got any questions, leave them down below. I'll try and answer them as best I can. Again, this is my husband's design. So he's the real genius. I'm just the camera lady who explains it. In any case, make sure you subscribe and hang around for more great backyard homestead and freeze drying tips.